Welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming, where we are the voice inside your head. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive Winner. We're playing The Legend of Zelda. Tears Got your of the big Kingdom. boy horn on. We are currently in the Thunder Thunderhead Sky Isles. And the Thunder Rolls. Yes, we are currently high above Hyrule in the Thunderhead Sky. See, we got we go a while over to here go. to like get your big boy. I think this is the final, uh, the final temple, is what we're doing right now, Joni. I think this is the final temple, and at the end of this will be our, our sweet reward of the final sage. Oh, okay. All right, noted. Good, good to know. Hook good that, to know. Hook that wood to something. Hook that wood to something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Hook that wood, though. I'm not gonna hook that wood to something, John. I'm not gonna do that. There's a chest in there. And probably right. One would think, but there's actually not. That's where they get you. They get you what you're thinking, and then you realize that you should stop thinking. They can do with the cell phones. All right, this is dangerous. Um, break that. I would like to, but can I get a real nice uh... arrows? Five arrows is amazing for us right now. Yeah, Can I kind of want a blizzard from Dairy Queen. You kind of want a blizzard from Dairy Are you pregnant? Well, does that mean I have babies in me? <laughs> I'm just asking, man. You know, cravings and stuff, you know? Because like, I want ice cream? Yeah. It's yeah. a fat boy craving. Oh, okay. Well, that's fair, too. I mean, the I mean, I guess maybe... I look like I'm pregnant. Wow, I would never, Joni. Look, my man, you look you look like a million bucks, all right? <laughs> all right? Don't let I anybody tell you different. I appreciate you uh trying to trying to build up your boy. Like I'm not gay or nothing, but I would totally S your D, all wow. right? Wow. So, that look. sounds a lot less straight than you just said it. Like I wanted to just be complimentary of you so that you feel good about your dragon. How close? How oh, close. ride the pony. How close are you? You're pretty oh, close. Oh, you can, he's pretty close, he's bro. He's far away, dude. He That's is no not. Go no. get him. I'm not. Don't, we're at the Sky Islands trying to find a final sage. I'm not going to get distracted by where'd he go? Oh. All right. Well, good. Distraction's over. God damn it. I lost them. Sorry. I want more dragon scales. I bet you do, but you don't get them today. You're going to learn today about being bereft Everybody of dragon scales. Everybody is that a house? No. Oh, there's a little, there's a little haciendas over here. We'll visit here first. Oh, there's some big blocks. Oh, I bet you I know what you can do with those. <laughs> I'm acquiring minds want to know, Just What the hell would you bet I can do with them? Ride them up. Ride them up. I pressed so many wrong buttons. <laughs> Nope, they don't ride up, but they are conducting electricity. That's interesting. Okay. So because they're made of metal, they do conduct electricity. That's uh, Can you blow some shit up? That's what I'm thinking. Oh, there looks like there's some over here already. What the hell? <laughs> you trying to sneak up on me? Tooling. You think the family won't take care of you? Don't speak on the family, Crody. <laughs> Crody. It's a Kendrick Lamar. I know, oh, oh, bro. You're a. What do they call him? A, a Ken doll? Is that like one of his. A Ken doll? <laughs> Don't you ever in your life. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> You're Knuff. Like, I am. I, get, I don't get offended easily, but then you. <laughs> <laughs> Kendrick just 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 like fell out of his chair wherever oh, he was yeah, sitting. Ken doll, that's insane. <laughs> <laughs> so Kendrick Lamar did have his uh the big concert in the uh, in uh, L.A. Did not, he sing all of his Drake diff riffs? He sang uh, not like us like six times. It was kind of like a melody where he would do bits and pieces from it throughout the night, and everybody would get freaking hyped. Just, 
crunk every time it happens. I don't think that's what makes them crunk, but sure. No, they got crunk, dude. Everybody's getting crunk nowadays again. Oh, really? Lil John back? No, I don't think so. No, I'm just talking ish. Oh, okay. There is another island there, Jones. You see that? It's a death island. It is. Can I make it there is the question. <laughs> Look, we're going to try. We're going to save. Oh, I like your, I like your moxie. I think I can make it. I watched a trailer for the Borderlands movie today, and it looked like extra ass. It looked even worse than the sample trailer. The Borderlands movie? Oh my god, it looked bad. Isn't uh, Kevin Hart in that or some ish? Yeah, and Jamie Lee Curtis and Kate Blanchett. All, all the people you would expect to be in a big blockbuster movie in 2024. 20, yeah. Honestly, shout out to Jamie Lee Curtis for being a sex symbol throughout most of her life. I don't know how. And then remaining a, a prominent actor in her later years, and I don't know how. I don't know how either. If you think about it, though, honestly, Jamie, Jamie Lee Curtis deserves her flowers because she was an actress. Oh, is it DVDA? Is that what's keeping her relevant? I don't know what that, I don't know what that illuminate. Nothing. Okay. Uh, yeah, but yeah, I don't know. I, she, I feel like she deserves her flowers because she was an actress during the time period where actresses were getting like super mistreated. So, like, you gotta, you gotta give your props to a woman. Is she a power bottom. I don't know what that means. Even <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how to handle that question. <laughs> that line of questioning: Is she a power bottom? I don't. Yeah. She was. She's in control. I mean, she definitely had the powerful bottom half to her body to get all the roles she got. Whoa, Ao. Surely it wasn't from the acting. Um, look, I love Jamie Lee Curtis. I don't want people to think that I'm an anti Jamie Lee Curtis guy, but I'm I saying. don't really care for her. <laughs> you don't care that I don't care for Jamie Lee. Curtis? You said that you are one. I'm. I don't know if I am. I just said I think she's all right, dude. She, I mean. I She's a good person. What is she in that you watched? <laughs> uh, Trading Places. Was she in that? Yes, that's Trading Places with Dan Aykroyd, and I believe. And Eddie Murphy. And Eddie Murphy. She was in she that? She plays a prostitute, and she shows her boobs in that in that movie. Oh, that's why you remember that's it. That's not why I remember it. Look, shut up. <laughs> I was a kid, dude. It was the first time, you know. You're like, HBO has great movies. I was like, oh, it's Jamie Lee Curry. I was, I was, <laughs> I used to, so back in the day, we didn't have access to Rewind TV. I would have to wait for that scene and time my strokes. Oh, God. What? That's so fucking crass. <laughs> my God. <laughs> Jesus. Exactly what I wanted. I'm my <laughs> Lord, caught me off guard, and I'm, I'm the glad. filthy one. I'm glad. You know, honestly, my God. I'm glad, yeah. Think about it. Think it upset of, my stomach. Think about 13-year-old me. Oh, God, stop. <laughs> <laughs> think about it, Joe. It don't even hurt. It's not. It's listen, Joe. It's not. It's legal if I consent. You're gonna right? be on a list somewhere I'm for talking about yourself. I'm you to like think that. about thirteen-year-old no, me, bro. No. I'm giving you consent to think I about me. I don't care what you're giving me. When I was a kid, I'm not giving you consent to tell me that story. <laughs> think about me when I was a kid, Jonas. Stop being weird. <laughs> Stop. All right. Anyway, Jamie Lee Curtis. By the way, guys. Do it. And Anyways, that movie looks like ass. Yeah. I I'll go see it, but only because, like, I expect it to be the worst. And if it's even the slight good bit of good, I'll be like, wow, okay, I was surprised. This looks, this looks like it might be I, uh, So, yeah, uh, me and Jonas played a lot of Borderlands, and that's why we even uh, talk about it. <gasps> this is one of those uh, freaking uh, thwumpers, dude. Just a thwump. You yeah. know, uh, God, what was I going to say? I just forgot. Oh, I saw something online mm -hmm, mm -hmm. last night. And I don't remember this, but I guess Kevin Hart was in a really bad car accident in 2019, and then people think that he cloned himself. Sounds sounds pretty legit. And that was right about the time his career took off, so like, they saved his life from the accident by cloning him, and then made him famous. So now we're thinking that Kevin Hart is a uh, clone. Is a clone. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, I'm gonna Google it, just so I can look up some conspiracy theories about it. Baked apple, I'll take it. Okay, so here's my thinking. I'm looking at this thing and I'm like, that looks like it could power that thing up there. Did it work? It did not work. I will take my shield back. 
Oh! This thing powers it. How do we get power to this? Oh, you ride the Can pony. Can I drop a shield right there? So if you drop a shield, like right here. Okay. Look, it's gonna it's starting it's starting to gain some traction. Oh, you gotta bring those. Look at this. I'm actually a goddamn genius, man. Oh wow. I don't understand why anybody doubts me ever. So I don't think I need to put the shield there. But it's hard to tell. Oh, you know what I can do? I can rewind. Can I rewind it? I cannot rewind it. Alright, uh... so if I drop the shield, we're gonna do that again. I want to wait, hold on. Oh, oh, it's starting, 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 it's starting. Come on, come on, come on, boy. Come on, boy, there we go. All right, I didn't need to drop the shield, but my heart was in the right place. You made it. I'm convinced that Kevin Hart no longer makes good movies. Who was... Did he ever make a good movie? Who's an actor that never made any good movies, Jonas, but still made their bread? Besides Kevin Hart. <laughs> Nicholas Cage. He you know Face Off was good. Bro, that's one out of a dozen. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to say this one, too. I'm going to throw this one out there, too. Samuel Jackson. Boom. Said it. Been oh. in a bunch of good movies, but the vast majority of them. He was never the main character in any of them. The vast majority of them are still ass. And I, you don't even necessarily have to be the main character for to fit this uh, this criteria in, in my uh, head canon. But uh, Sam Yell, Sam Yell, he's been in a lot of bad movies, man. He's been in a Bruce lot. Bruce Willis was in a lot of bad movies, too. But Bruce, he did Die Hard, he did do Die But one good movie or a string of good he was movies? in Armageddon, and that was like a yeah. everyone. I mean, I'm not a big fan, but people love that. It made men cry and shit. Did it? <laughs> it was in that one movie there, like you cried during Armageddon. And he was like, Well, no, I didn't. I had something in my eye. I've never oh, that. you could have put that in the water and then killed all the fish with the the, the electric shock and made them. Oh cooked. God, it's gonna kill me now. <laughs> oh, that's very true. I could have. Let's see what it does. Baked fish. I could have had all those fish baked. It. God damn it! Could have baked. Could have been eating like a big boy. Like, like kings. We eat like kings. Yeah. No. Um. <laughs> Did Bruce Willis make good movies? I mean, you know, he did a lot of bad ones, but... Oh, know. he did. Oh, what was that one with Ja Rule? I don't know. Cradle to the Grave? Yeah, that was uh, that's Steven not, Seagal, that's though. Steven, that's DMX and Steven Seagal. That's a bad movie. That's a bad movie. Uh, uh, Romeo Must Die. Oh, that's Aaliyah and Jet Li. That is Aaliyah and Jet Li. Aaliyah, what? like, was about to do some things, and then she, like... Save here. Died. <laughs> Did Queen of the Dam, which and Romeo during the day, Queen of the Dam was a hundred percent a subpar movie. That movie was not very good, but because it was Aaliyah's last role, everybody hyped it up like it was the that best. That movie thing was ever. ass. It was bad. It was a Romeo bad movie. Must Die was okay though. Romeo Must Die was okay because it was, you know, it was the It was still kind of dumb, but like it had some cool technology where Jet Li would like kick the dude and it like showed the bones breaking as he did it honestly i don't remember much from the cinematography but kudos for you for bringing it up that's the only thing i remember about it <laughs> you like he it? like want like Aaliyah was just like some girl and he was like oh i love you and she's yeah, like it was a whole montague capulet uh romeo and it was like it was like a thing. take on that yeah it was modern day romeo <laughs> i'm not gonna make it you lost okay no noted a... That's why this island's here. Let's I thought this who... island was here for to help. So you me. said who made a bunch of crappy movies and still got rich? Uh, um, Bill Paxson. He did make a bunch. He of made a movies. ton of movies. I don't know who that is, but I'll. Uh, take Chet and Weird Science. Oh, I think we can take these and move them and make a bridge. Ooh. All right, look, either way, on the next episode, we'll get even deeper into Thunderhead. I, are we at Thunder, time? Thunder, at Thunder, time. Thunder, Thunder. I feel like we're at time, at least. Uh, yeah, we are. All right. That's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Oh, yeah.